Hello, this is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. Joshua reached out to you earlier today, so I'm going to you know, take the time to go through everything, kind of show you what's going on, and give you those tips and tricks we talked about. So right off the bat, I'm at CormacConstruction.com. I see you have a list of everything that you do up top over here, which is great. Um, first issue I see right off the bat is there's not a lot of color on the page to give you um, anything that says, hey, look at me. Also, you do have a logo, and it should be over here where this uh, you know, Facebook logo is instead. And you definitely always want your phone number in the top over here, top right corner where Take a Look is. Um, and not only that, but this goes actually to interior painting, which you already have up here. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having it laid out like this. Typically, what I would do is a home, um, a service page with a drop-down menu for all the services you have, and about a contact us, and then your phone number. But let's scroll through. So you have a nice video over here. I'm not going to go through the video. It looks like you have your, maybe this is a Facebook page. That's kind of thrown into the center over here. But then as we scroll down, you have check our thumbtack reviews. You can find us on Facebook and our Google reviews. So there's not a lot of content on your actual website that you have. It looks like you just have a, you know, a nice page over here with nothing going on behind it. Um, so actually, I'm going to, you know, just for fun, let's take a look at cabinet painting, see what's going on over here. So over here, we have a little bit more substance. Um, at least we have a background picture over here. Before and after pictures are great. And I'm going to assume that's the entire page over here, just a lot of before and after pages. Now, here's where you're going to come into trouble because you're going to want content on these pages, right? Google is very strict about content. They want to see that, read through it, make sure it makes sense so that they can send people to you when the right content is there. And I'm going to get into that in a moment. But let's take a look at the back end of your website, see what's going on over here and, uh, you know, kind of give you some some, some comment kind of advice. So here is, I use a tool called Ahrefs. It lets me know exactly how Google looks at you. And right now there is no real information. You There's no UR or DR rating. And a UR rating is, you know, how good your website is. And a DR rating is how much Google trusts your website, you know, to send you to them. It's kind of like, oh yeah, my, uh, my uncle, you know, he's very trustworthy. You know, he's somebody that the whole family goes to for advice, you know, something like that. So all that actually goes up with backlinks. Now, backlink is where you have your website link. So CormanConstruction.com somewhere else where somebody can click on it and a referring domain is when it returns to you. Now, we don't want just any backlinks, right? So you got BuzzFeed, Wikipedia stuff. We don't want those. We want stuff that are really going to help you out. Stuff like, um, um, you know, that like a painter's blog that actually adds a lot of value to you and, you know, in association with you. So Google looks at you and they're like, oh, this is really good. And we want those type of stuff. And then that'll actually drive your UR and DR rating up. Now, you want those in the 30s and 40s here. And then finally, you have organic keywords. Now, a keyword is what, um, you know, somebody might type into Google to find you. So if I put in, so let, let's see what keyword we have actually over here. Because you got one, and it's Corman Construction. So if somebody types in Corman Construction, and you're on the top of the list for, you know, because as you can see, there's the keyword here, Corman Construction. You got volume of how many people per month are searching for it. You got a uh, seven people a month coming to you. So you, there, you're probably your, uh, you know, referrals and stuff like that. And you're in position number 11. So you're still, uh, you're not on page one quite yet, but you're getting close to there. So a keyword essentially is what I might type into Google to find what I am searching for. So in your case, let's say I'm living in South Bend, Indiana, and I type in painters. So I, this tells two things. One is I'm looking for a painter who lives in South Bend, Indiana. So that's already going to distinguish me because it means I'm looking for somebody local. It means I am local and it means I need a painter now. So we call those buyer intentional keywords. So here we have our, um, by the way, these two combinations of location and service is how we create Google ads. So we have Serta Pro with an ad. We got uh, Tito Perez painting with an ad. But then after the ads, we get over to our GMB. Now you can run an ad for a GMB to get up here, but you definitely want to be in the top three because if you are uh in the top three about 10 sorry 30 to 40 percent of all people who searched for painter south Bend, indiana will click on one of these three websites huge way to get to drive traffic to yourself so definitely look into uh gmb google my business profile after that you have your organic search now anyone with a website can rank over here the idea is you want to be in the top three because that's where all the traffic goes to so um and again, anyone with a website can do that. So right now, Yelp is uh, number one, BBB is number two, and Brothers Color Painting is number three. So let's take a look and see how they're doing. Kind of get an idea of their website and see what's working for them. So they have their nice logo up top over here, residential, commercial stuff, gallery about locations. So they can have multiple different locations in one area. Uh, why are they? In, okay, they have two locations in Florida, I understand. One in Michigan and one in Indiana. Odd. Okay, but there's nothing wrong. And then they have a contact us page. 
See their number up top over here? Schedule an estimate is for their estimation page. The number should be click to call, and it's not. So they lose 10 points for that in my book. They have a nice picture up here. Um, but as you can see, they got a lot of content. See? They're talking about what it is they're offering. You can depend on them. Their number is sprinkled throughout as well as they have this sheet over here. So they're doing pretty good. Then you have all of these things which are not something to another page. They're not links. They have before and after pictures, which are really nice. Um, I wonder what they built this on because I have this. Oh, they, they, it looks like they stay in that deck over there. That's nice. Um, but they have content, and that's exactly what it is you want. Now, let's take a look at the back end of their website and see how well they're doing. So right off the bat, they are they have a UR rating of 21, so they have a very good website, a DR rating of 29, which means they have, even though they don't have a lot of backlinks, they're quality backlinks, and that's, that's exactly what you want to go for. Uh, there's a lot of people who can have thousands of backlinks and you know a, a lot of referring domains and still have low ratings. You want them, you want just the good stuff. So they have 64 referring domains. They also have 334 organic keywords. So 334 unique words that Google is ranking them for that if somebody puts in any one of those, they can theoretically be the one to pop up first. So let's see how they're doing in those rankings. So I'm looking for a few things. I'm looking for what the keyword is, the volume the keyword brings, the traffic they bring in, and then the position that they are in for that specific keyword. And here we are. So uh, South Bend Painters, there's 100 people a month searching. They're getting 20 people So because they're in position three. Now, if you're in um, for one, two, or three position, you're going to get anywhere from 10 to 20%. As you can see, they're getting uh, about 20%, actually. So as you scroll through, you'll see the position they're in and the amount of traffic they keep pulling for it. So one of the big things you want to look at is every single word or a keyword they have here is a combination of a location and a service. And that's exactly what you want on your website in order for you to rank the right way. So how does this really help you out? Honestly, all we got to do is we got to get content on your website. So step number one is content. All right, we got to get content. We got to make it look nice. Maybe get a picture in there. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's the content that's going to be the key of everything. Inside the content, we want those keywords. We want them to be about where you offer it and the services you're offering. So location and service specific keywords. And then step number three is we need a lot of good, not a lot, but we need better um, backlinks than your competitor has. But guess what? I know where to find some really good ones right here. 64 really good ones, and then we'll add another about 50 to 100 on top to start, uh, not to start, but to keep you on top of the rankings there. And that's all you really got to do in order to start winning. We got content, backlinks, and then we got, uh, uh, sorry, content, keyword, backlinks, and then you're well on your way to starting getting more clients. The, they're bringing in 222 people a month with the website. Imagine if you just bring in 100 people a month just through your website alone. What would that do for you? Anyway, that's all I really got. I really hope you have an amazing day. Uh, you enjoy. Bye.